Yeah, it's really, it's really good. It's, uh, you know, it's like, obviously exciting to be back in football, and uh, especially for me, I've been out for six months pretty much, and uh, it's just we're really happy to be back on the field. Yeah, how tough was that having the foot thing and then not being able to compete in the spring and watch everybody compete in the spring? Well, it was it was tough because I'm a very competitive person and you know just watching everyone develop, especially seeing my little brother come in and play and not being able to play with him was really frustrating on my part. But you know it was something I had to get done, something I had to get through. But now I'm perfectly fine and ready to go. He's working with the ones. How important was it for him to, to get that spring in? And, well, I think it was very important because, you, like I did, I came in early, and you get you get to know the plays. Ufamba, and, Kamalu um, for the group over here. And, you know, talking to Brandon Linder and uh, Stephen Morris and a couple other guys. You know, Stephen came in early, and we, we knew the playbook, but then, like, guys like Linder and John Feliciano came in in the second summer, and it's just a whole other thing. It's just like they don't know the playbook as much. And so it's very, it's very crucial that he came in there early so he can get the plays and learn, learn the whole play, playbook and the schemes and get his strength up and all that. So you're talking to him. How, how's he looking to you? I mean, I know you've got your, your thing to worry about, but yeah. what have you seen of him so far? Uh, he's looking very good. He's you know he's had a great off season. He's really worked off, worked his tail off. Jonathan Feliciano, um, you know, available for the group. He, he looked very, very, very good these past two days. I'm very excited to see what happens. And you feel this offensive line is going to come together? And yeah, well, I think, I think we're going to have a great offensive line this year. You know, we're, we're all a very tight-knit group, and we've been together for a couple of years now. And, uh, so we, I think we're going to be good. We're going to be really good. And the foot's feeling good? Yeah, the foot's feel feeling good? great. Yeah, we're running around here, as you see, and doing everything. And it's just good. When were you cleared? Um, I was cleared uh, in May. Okay. Yeah, I was, I was cleared like the beginning of the season, and uh, I was able to do the whole summer. Yeah, and that, yeah, that's yeah, it's, that's what's a cool thing about me being a, me redshirting and coming in. Is I had the opportunity to play with him because I had the opportunity to play with my older brother this year here in high school. And, uh, now, now that I'm here with Casey, it's kind of strange because he's so so much younger than me, but. Uh, to think that he was in middle school when I was here is kind of crazy, but uh, he, uh, you know, it's really exciting to have that. You know, it also helps with communication because we've grown up together, so he knows exactly what I want. What's the, what's the biggest thing you try and preach to him that you need to do in the college level to be successful? Uh, probably the biggest thing I preach to him is uh, probably study film and uh, get to know the plays. Because when you get the terminology down and you understand defenses and you understand all that, the strength will come because Swayze's going to get you there. Swayze's going to get you to what you need to be strength-wise. But if you can master reading a defense and master reading play, you're going to be fine. I guess just the communication with Isadora, kind of a new guy that you're working with. Uh, well, da Danny's my roommate, so we've, okay. we're, we've been together for a while now. And, you know, uh, it's not that big of a transition. Of course, it's, it's sad, you know, with uh, losing Brandon Linder because we were such a tight knit group of three inside guys. But Danny has filled that spot right in, and we, we've been communicating just fine. And you were talking earlier, um, you know, starting first day of practice and seeing your, your, your brother as the starting right tackle. Yeah. Talk a little bit about that experience. Um, you know, he, I, I think he deserved it. You know, this whole offseason, he really worked his tail off and he really, you know, he lost 15 pounds and he put on muscle and he's uh, just worked, worked his tail off all summer. So I'm very proud of him. And I think that he deserves this right now. And I think I'm really, I'm really looking forward to see what happens tomorrow when we put the pads on. See how he develops in his next couple of weeks and see if he can hold it. Now, you know, Taylor Gadbois obviously is not, you know, take, taking that so lightly and yeah. is hoping to come back and, and reclaim that job. Um, mm -hmm. Pretty, It'll be a pretty intense competition. Uh, you and your brother. Yeah, and, you know, it's it's a great competition. It's going to make our offensive line better. Uh, you, both of them are, are going to perform better because of it. And it's, it's going to be really interesting who ends up at that spot. But, it, you know, either or, I know that they're going to do great. And um, I'm not concerned about that spot because competition is going to be the best spot both of them. No, um, i got to believe the offensive line in particular can't wait to put the pads on and, uh, and get that part of practice going. Yeah, yeah, we can't wait. You know, this whole 7-on-7 uh, seven seven and light hitting thing yeah, ain't fun for us. <laughs> it's more of conditioning for us. But we're excited for that. All right, Shane, thank you. Appreciate it.